Is there just one Fujifilm recipe that can serve all your needs? According to YouTuber Gaffi of Gaffi's photography channel, there is. And what's more, he created it. Does his claim hold up? Let's put a few minutes on the clock and let's dive in. First off, if you haven't checked out Gaffi's channel, be sure you do. He's sharp, knows his stuff, and puts out great content around Fuji and Leica. Next, if you haven't set up a dedicated recipe for a trip or an occasion, I highly recommend you do it because it's convenient and it boosts your confidence and creativity. I chose Goffey's recipe, and check out his video here, because he's an online friend of mine. We're, we're YouTube pals, and I knew he did his homework. His taste is similar to mine, which is very, very good taste. And I thought I could trust my summer trip to Seattle with his recipe. Would it hold up? Let's see some samples. Here we are at Pike Place, a classic location in Seattle, and you can see these great pictures of the market. Now, last summer when we went to Italy, I used the Big Negatives film look recipe for all my shots on the Fuji X100V. It worked out so great, I knew I wanted simplicity and convenience of shooting one film recipe in Seattle. I set the recipe up on C4, my custom uh, four setting, so it'd be at the end of my dial on the XS10. And because I knew I was gonna be reviewing this recipe for a video, I set up Big Negatives film recipe on C2. I put a black, film, uh, black and white film recipe in between them, so I'd have mistake-free switching between those two color recipes. Every shot I took, I tried to get a second frame with Big Negatives film look. So check out these shots. Portraits of our friends Don and Juhi who hosted us. Goffey's recipe clearly has a warm cast to it, particularly noticeable in the orange tint that it gives to people's faces and skin. While I like the Big Negatives moodiness, particularly seen or emphasized maybe as I shot there a little underexposed, Goffey's recipe helps convey an emotional warmth, friendliness, and openness, which I associate with Seattle because I go there in the spring and the summer uh, during the warm times of the year. So, so far it was working for me. Let's take a look at day two, which had a very different experience in store for us, hiking Mount Rainier. <laughs> was steep and long, about 2,000 feet of elevation gain and more than six miles due to a slight wrong turn somewhere on the trail. We met marmots on the trail, we took snack breaks, I tried my hand at shooting a couple of panoramas, and Goffey's recipe helped capture the open beauty of Mount Rainier. I feel like the recipe affords you a clean, bright look, and honestly for landscape photos I prefer the smaller grain setting compared to the big negative. I posted these shots on Instagram with a poll, and overwhelmingly the majority of voters out there preferred Goffey's recipe to Big Negative's film look. So it has the crowd vote in this case. I think the Big Negative's recipe performs better when it's shot a little bit on the overexposed side up to like two thirds or, or plus one stop. So these two film looks are now my favorites. They're both on my cameras and I suggest you try out one and see how you like it. I would say that Goffey's I would definitely use for portraits. I would use it for landscape. And I think it has overall a little bit more of a modern vibe and big negatives film look recipe. It definitely uh, is what I use for street, for urban photography and I think it has a little bit of a grittier and a more a vintage vibe. So you try them out and you let me know what you think. Check out these two channels. You'll definitely be glad you did. Leave a comment, let me know if you've tried these. Thanks, bye, see you in the next video.